on everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing another tag a Facebook group I belong to a wonderful group of women named the real woman of YouTube was tagged by a member named Orly C to do this secret life of a youtuber tag thought it sounded like fun I definitely wanted to support her and the other girls in the group so I thought I'd join in on the tag so I have a list of questions here I'm noticing that I really like doing tags like this um my channel is really new so I'm getting to know people by doing these plus it helps me get used to talking in front of the camera because when I say it is nerve-wracking yes my nerves are wrecked anyway without further ado let's get started how long have you been on YouTube I started on YouTube on May 18, 2016. It was my daughter's birthday. And that means I have been on YouTube for exactly six weeks today, which is Wednesday, June 29th, when I'm making this video. At what point do you think you will stop? I don't have any plans to stop right now. I just started. <laughs> I've only been doing it for six weeks. Um, I'm sure there'll come a time everything comes to an end nothing lasts forever but right now I don't have any plans to stop what is the best thing about YouTube the best thing about YouTube to me is feeling like I'm part of a community especially being a part of like this group the real women of YouTube you get to meet people you get to know people I when I first started I hadn't really planned on doing vlogs and Right now, vlogs are really a big part of my channel. Um, the vlogging community has been uh, wonderful so far. So, you know, that's something that I hadn't planned on, but I'm, I'm making friends through that. I've, I've, it's been unexpected. It's been unexpected and it's been great. What's the worst thing about YouTube? I haven't figured that out yet. As far as like a worst thing, I don't have a big complaint um, besides like the technical stuff the YouTube purge of 2016 which I can't complain that much about it didn't affect me that much to where I can cry about it I know a lot of people were hurt by it and I really hope they get it fixed because that that wasn't right but other than you know the technical side of it um, I would have to say maybe just having to have patience you have to have this level of patience that I have not experienced before, not even with uh, having my children, not with uh, when I was in the military. The patience you have to have for this, it's a, it, it adds a layer and a dimension to your character. Ah, ah, like that? <laughs> How many thumbnail options do I take? Thumbnail options. Uh, if I'm doing like my Friday videos where it's gonna be a skit or a rant or something along that lines, I use uh, maybe two or three. I'll take two or three shots. My face ain't gonna change. <laughs> two or three shots just so you know I'm covered in case something uh, looks different when I put it on to the computer. Uh, but as far as my vlogs, and even like my Q&A's uh, or tags, I usually just use a still. I uh, use TubeBuddy, so they have a thumbnail generator. I usually just take a still from the video and leave it at that. Who is your YouTube crush? I can't say that I have a YouTube crush. I like Tyrone Magnus. I mean, I think he's very intelligent and he's not hard to look at. It's pretty easy to look at. So um, I like him and I definitely like Trey from Today with Trey. And let me clarify that. I crush on him and Keisha as a unit. He just got engaged. Let me not go start no mess. <laughs> but no, she know her man fine and he's fine. But they are awesome. I watch their vlogs every day, every time they put something out. Uh, congratulations on the engagement, Keisha and Trey. Who's on your collab wish list? Collab wish list for me. Ugh, that's hard. I really want to get more into skits. 
it's something that um, I want to do. So if I'm dreaming, I could say Superwoman. Oh, there's also a really new YouTuber. His name is Danny Dalla. Yes, Danny Dalla, D-A-L-A-H. He's brand new on YouTube. He is so funny. I would love to do a skit collaboration with him. I don't know where he lives. We just met on YouTube. I, I don't know any of that, but he, that, that, he's funny. You guys should check him out. For vlogs or like reality type deals, meetups or whatnot, I would have to say, of course, today with Trey. I love uh, Trey and Keisha. Um, Gay Babe TV is another one of my favorites. And My Invisible Chrysalis is a channel that I have been watching for years and years and was probably the person that, that got me thinking YouTube was something that I might want to do. So, uh, yeah, definitely those people. I wouldn't mind collabing with and there's so many wonderful girls on the real women of YouTube you know there's so many there's so many and a lot of them do like hair and natural hair and makeup and that's not something that I I won't say that I'm not interested in it but it's not what I got on YouTube to do so a lot of the girls when they collab they do stuff like that so I don't feel like I would fit in to that but um, I don't want to say never. I love hair and makeup and all that stuff. So, you know, maybe one day, just right now, it's eh. What are you wearing on your bottom half? That has got to be the strangest question I have come across in a tag. But, if you must know, I'm wearing my favorite jeans. They're too big now, but I still wear them all the time. They're super comfortable and they've got holes all in them and Yeah, that's my bottom half. How long until you actually click record? Oh, after I set up lights and position the camera a million times. It usually takes me 10 or 15 minutes to go ahead and press the record button. I'm getting better, time's getting shorter. But, um, yeah. I think that's about average. How do you feel about the YouTube community and culture? Like I said before, I'm so far really enjoying it. I feel bad for some of the YouTubers that have gotten caught up in drama. That's not, I mean, but it, it's gonna come with whatever you do, wherever you work. YouTube is not gonna be any different as far as drama and egos and this, that, and the other. But it makes me really sad when you see adults fighting over petty stuff. You know, I've got another favorite YouTuber, um, and this might be surprising to some that I watch this guy every freaking day, uh, Blasphemous HD. I watch him all the time, and you know, he got into this altercation at VidCon this year, and it seemed totally out of character for him and I'm proud of him for how he composed himself but you know that's one of the things that you know you have to deal with especially when you get to his level I, I a million 1.2 million subscribers 2.4 with all his combined channels that sounds like a ridiculous amount of number for me I don't know what I could do that would make that many people watch me every day but he has it so you know it seems like uh, you're always gonna get that crabs in a bucket type thing of people that are upset at that the fact that they're not at your level so they pull you down I've noticed that but I've also noticed the YouTube that for every hater there is someone that is going to want to collab with you that is going to um, give you a shout out and just try to make you uh, be more encouraged to continue what you're doing there's so many talented people in this community. Little bitty channels and massive channels alike. There's so many people with talents of their own. And um, I like the feeling that, you know, we, we can all we can all do this. You know, there's not uh, there's not only a few spots. There's not. We can all get along. We can all do what we came here to do. And we can have fun while doing it. What's your secret to a successful YouTube channel? Well, as of this very moment, I have 190 subscribers after six weeks. 
Um, I don't do sub for sub. I I don't agree to that because I want genuine, active subscribers and followers and people that are going to comment and we're going to talk and we're going to have a good time. I don't want someone to ask me to sub to their channel, their gaming channel that I'm not going to watch. I don't know this kid. You know, I'm, I'm and, and then I'm going to look at my subs a few days later and they're not going to be there. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. That's not the type of growth that I want. I would encourage any new YouTubers to not go that route. I, that's not how you want to grow your channel. And like I said, I'm very small myself. I'm, I'm just starting out. But I can only tell you what I like. And I like a genuine personality. Someone who's not afraid to step outside of a box or let people put them in a box. Which is why I try to do a variety of things on my channel. I like these tags because I feel like I get to sit down and um, give some insight into myself. Uh, I like doing the vlogs for the same reason. I like people to get to know me and my family. I think we're pretty, uh, I think we're a bunch of clowns. I think uh, we have a good time and we love each other. And uh, I, I, want, I want the world to see that. I want the world to see that. It's a lot of love. There's a lot of love. So um, yeah, just be genuine. Be genuine, be versatile, and uh, don't take yourself too seriously. All right. We are wrapping it up. So, guess the last thing is to tell you who I'm tagging to do this Secret Life of a YouTuber next. I am going to tag Holly Bombi, Terika Davis, Delilah's Life TV, Rebecca Vids, Aaron James, and Fruit Babe Megan. Come on, guys, step up to the challenge. This might not be what you usually do, but it's kind of fun. I think you'll like it and we'd like to get to know you all better. So that was a peek into my secret life. Not. <laughs> that was a peek into my life as a YouTuber, brand new. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tell your friends. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Hey guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.